ever wondered why some conversations with guys go south quickly, it might be because of what was said. Here's a roadmap to avoid those awkward moments and keep things smooth. 1. Why can't you be more like him? Comparing your guy to someone else can hurt his self-esteem and make him feel inadequate. Every individual has unique qualities, and appreciating your guy for who he is can strengthen your bond. Instead, focus on his strengths and what makes him special to you. Highlighting positive attributes fosters a sense of appreciation and love, making your relationship more robust. Avoiding comparisons can help maintain his confidence and the health of your relationship. 2. Do you really think that's a good idea? Questioning his decisions can make him feel undermined and disrespected. It's important to communicate support and trust. If you have concerns, try framing them as suggestions or questions that encourage dialogue rather than criticism. This approach promotes mutual respect and understanding, making him feel valued and heard. It's all about how you present your thoughts without dismissing his. Aim for a collaborative conversation where both perspectives are considered. Three, you're overreacting. Telling a guy he's overreacting invalidates his feelings and can lead to frustration and distance. Everyone has different emotional triggers, and what might seem minor to one person can be significant to another. Acknowledge his feelings and try to understand his perspective. Empathy can go a long way in resolving conflicts and building a deeper connection. Validate his emotions and work together to find a solution that respects both parties. 4. My ex used to do that. Bringing up an ex in conversation, especially in comparison, can be a major relationship killer. It can make your guy feel insecure and jealous. Focus on your current relationship and the positive aspects you share. Past relationships are in the past for a reason, and continuously referencing them can hinder the growth of your present relationship. Keep the focus on the here and now and cherish the moments you create together. 5. You always, you never. Using absolute terms like always and never can make your guy feel attacked and unfairly judged. It's important to address specific issues without generalizing his behavior. Instead of saying, you never listen, try, I feel unheard when. This shifts the conversation from blame to how his actions impact you, opening the door for a more constructive discussion. It's about addressing the behavior, not attacking the person. Six, calm down. Telling someone to calm down can often have the opposite effect, escalating the situation instead of diffusing it. It can come across as dismissive and patronizing. Instead, offer support and understanding. Saying something like, I see you're upset, let's talk about it shows empathy and a willingness to listen. This approach can help soothe his emotions and lead to a more productive conversation. Seven, are you really wearing that? Criticizing his appearance can hurt his confidence and make him feel self-conscious. If you have suggestions about his outfit, try framing them positively. For instance, I love how you look in that blue shirt, rather than directly criticizing his choice. It's about being supportive and encouraging rather than making him feel inadequate. Positive reinforcement can help him feel appreciated and confident. 8. You're just like your father. Even if the comparison is meant positively, bringing family into criticisms can be a sensitive topic. It can trigger defensive reactions and hurt feelings. Focus on the issue at hand without drawing parallels to his family members. Discuss behaviors and actions without making it personal. This way, the conversation remains constructive and focused on resolving the issue without unnecessary emotional baggage. 9. You should know how I feel. Assuming he knows your feelings without expressing them can lead to misunderstandings and frustration. Communication is key in any relationship. Clearly expressing your feelings and needs helps avoid assumptions and ensures both partners are on the same page. Instead of expecting him to read your mind, openly share your thoughts and emotions. This fosters a deeper understanding and connection between you both. 10. You're too sensitive. Labeling his emotions as too sensitive can invalidate his feelings and create distance. Everyone processes emotions differently and it's important to respect his emotional responses. Show empathy and support instead of criticism. Validate his feelings by acknowledging them and offering comfort. This approach strengthens emotional intimacy and shows that you care about his well-being. Respecting each other's emotional boundaries is essential for a healthy relationship. Check out this playlist of the top 10 videos on relationship advice for women, and we'll see you in the next video. With love.